I guess that's what it's all about, is the sort of landscape and the, that boundary between land and sea. The geology and the materials. I'm collecting materials from the landscape, and that comes from a sort of long knowledge of the area. I grew up in this area and sort of knowing the land and the landscape and the places is what informs the work. I did a piece at, when I was at Art College where I rolled a ball of clay through the landscape on a path and it's picking up materials so, and it was sort of like a, about how we experience the landscape and how we move through it and then I fired that piece just as a ball of clay. It was interesting seeing how the different rocks and things melted. And so I guess that was one of the first things that got me thinking about putting raw materials into pots. And then much later on, I then learned to throw and actually using materials like that. There's like several different clays I get from different beaches. There's some clay that comes from the moor just below the studio there that I use quite a lot. And then there's another clay from White Sands that I use almost like a glaze. Very, very thin. And it gives this sort of rough golden sheen. Sometimes I'm going out with wanting to go to a particular place that I think there's a sort of geologically interesting material that might work well in the work, or other times I'm just out walking anyway and I see stuff that I think, oh, that looks interesting, that might work well in a piece. Of Found materials are quite unpredictable, and then glazes are very complex in terms of thickness and getting them just right, and the environment and the kiln and everything. So, there's a lot of factors to getting something that you you sort of have an image of what you're hoping for, and getting that exactly as you hoped is special, but quite rare. You discover new things. And things that aren't expected are often sometimes better or sometimes more interesting. You take an element from something and try and develop it in another piece. 